हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल खत्री स्टैनो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर मोर डिक्टेशन ऑन डेली बेसिस रेडी स्टार्ट इट वुड हैव बीन इमेंसली यूजफुल एंड पर्टिनेंट इफ द हाई कोर्ट वाहिल टेकिंग अप द क्वेश्चन ऑफ कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ डेथ सेंटेंस एंड मेकिंग सेवरल कमेंट्स इन रिगार्ड टू द एबहोरेंट नेचर of crime and its repulsive impact on society would have also given due consideration to the equally relevant aspect pertaining to mitigating factors before arriving at a conclusion that option of any other punishment than the capital one was foreclosed the approach of the trial court and the high court in this matter while awarding sentence could only be disapproved and we do so in no uncertain terms what has been observed and held here in above leaves us with the question as to whether in the present case capital punishment is called for or it should be substituted by any other sentence the heinous nature of crime like that of present one in brutal rape and murder of a 7 year old girl child definitely discloses aggravating circumstances particularly when the manner of its commission shows depravity and shocks the conscience but at the same time it is noticeable that the appellant has no criminal antecedents comes from a very poor socio economic background has a family comprising of wife children and aged father and has unblemished jail conduct when all these factors are added together and it is also visualized that there is nothing on a record to rule out the probability of reformation and rehabilitation of the plant in our view it would be unsafe to treat this case as falling in a rarest of rare category putting it differently when the plant is not shown to be a person having criminal antecedents and is not a hardened criminal it cannot be said that there is no prob- probability of him being reformed and rehabilitated his unblemished jail conduct and having a family of wife children and aged father would also indicate towards the probability of his reformation however and even when the present case is taken to be not falling in the category of rarest of rare so as to require termination of the life of the appellant yet the impact of the offenses in question on the conscience of the society as a whole cannot be ignored thus it appears just and proper to apply the course adopted in various cases involving the crimes of similar nature where even while commuting capital punishment this court has provided for life imprisonment without application of the provisions of premature release remission before mandatory actual imprisonment for a substantial length of time the appellant was about 32 34 years of age at the time of commission of crime in the year 2015 looking to the overall facts and circumstances in our view it would be just and proper to award the punishment of imprisonment for life to the appellant for the offense under section 302 ipc while providing for actual imprisonment for a minimum period of 30 years having regard to the circumstances of this case and other punishments awarded to the appellant it is also just and proper to provide that all the substantive sentences shall run concurrently